Good afternoon, everybody. Let's face it, moths happen. Um, I don't care if it's in your pantries or if it is, in, a, in my case, an unfinished section of our garage. Um, pantry moths, moths are on the cabinets. Uh, every once in a while, something happens. But with the warm weather that we finally stepped up a notch or two, we have had a moth explosion in my garage. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, once Luke got his baby chicks out of our unfinished garage um, that he didn't necessarily clean up all the grain as well as he should have. And so now I have just walked into that garage and there was about 20 or 30 moths just flying all over the place. Uh, we were finding them periodically in the house uh, and I just could not find the source. Well, now I found it and we've got to do something about it. Um, and I want to show you these. These are the easiest things I have found to come up with um, for getting rid of pantry moths. Uh, if it's in your pantry or anything, there's lots of things. You gotta, you gotta find, first find the source and clean up um, where it is. So uh, my little minions are about to uh, clean the garage and um, get rid of the source of food. Um, but then we're gonna release these things. They come in little two packs and all it is is a um, little piece of cardboard on the inside it's a sticky trap and then there's a little tiny lure that you put inside there and it's just a pheromone to attract the moths they're going to be attracted there's a bunch of little holes inside and um, these things work amazingly well uh, but again you got to remember it's not a miracle cure it's a tool uh, you got to clean up the source first you're never going to break the cycle but on the assumption that you cleaned up and you got rid of all the loose uh, sometimes you'll find it in the pantry and it's cereal boxes that have been sitting around for a while uh, flour that maybe only gets used at christmas time for cookies um, but in our particular case like i said i think it's chicken food um, but uh, let's see these things work because it's amazing how fast they're going to catch the moths okay so as you can see there's just a little plastic just to keep the shape the only claim to fame with this particular model is they a lot of them were just very simple brown boxes that looked very utilitarian. Um, but these were just a little bit more decorative and supposed to be completely circular so you have a plastic cap that goes on the top plastic cap that goes on the bottom so um, you can stick it in uh, uh, up on a counter or something in it but being in my garage I don't really care what it looks like but it's only been sitting on this counter for two or three minutes and the moths are all flying all over the place um, you can already see inside they're starting to get caught on the inside and um, at this rate you can see them they're just gonna go and they're gonna find the little spots in those holes and they're gonna work their way in there and problem will be gone um, but with all this warm weather I'm gonna let these run for a few minutes start trapping them problem will be gone shortly.